Hello, this is my Viper Guide on Icebox. We're going to start off with Defense, and we're going to look at the main wall you're going to be placing a lot of the time, which is going to be this default wall. So we're going to li line up by looking straight up and look at this light, the edge of the light, and aim at this corner here. This is the wall that, this is how Nats lines up this wall. And you can also line it up just from this corner of the doorway, like this, back in the same position. Uh, like this, you just aim in that corner. It's really easy. You're going to get it right at the top. Uh, we generally don't play A though on Viper. We're going to give our teammates that wall, and then we're going to go over and play B. So on B, there's two ways that I generally will play B, and the first way is going to be the B, kind of aggressive B main sort of uh, way. So we're going to try and take some space or take fights early on um, and not really give B main for free. We'll do this molly sometimes and then we'll uh, take fights garage. Other times we'll, we won't even uh, molly. We might try, depends on like the reads, right, or what you can even hear in mid and that kind of stuff. And we'll try and take um, like some space on B and on the flank. And give our teammates an easier time because if you think about it right as soon as you get this kind of sideline especially this sideline where you can see the whole spawn you can basically tell your team that they're either in this sort of these sort of positions here or in a somewhere right it, it, so they have two 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 main places to worry about yeah. this sort of choke point over here and a so it makes our life it makes our teammates lives a lot easier if you want to play super super aggressive but you still want to contest um a main or sorry b main you can play a position similar to this that usually requires you to have like some sort of presence before this though. Um, you'll see a lot in competitive play, people play like this. And they'll kind of go for one and then they'll volley. And it's really, really good to delay because it's delaying the control of, of, of yellow. It is quite risky in solo queue though because a lot of solo queue players will like just scale up and no, no respect and kind of kill you. Um, before like, they, like people will have no respect sometimes in solo queue and just run to, to, through the most dumb angles to, uh, to actually kill you from behind. The situation but it is still effective though um so you will tend to get one in my opinion the time if you don't just like straight up peek this as well this is generally quite bad we're going to be doing this type of angle as you've seen in effective play um the way we want to do the one way up here there's two ways we can do it we're going to go up to the corner of the of like this uh the green container line up with like the horizontal line of the four uh, to about like this point basically like this like lip on the container and just jump right click so that's the one way nice pretty easy um, and then there's also the other way to do it, which is go into the middle of the white container and aim in the middle of this like caution sign, like this, and level with the middle, and then just go to like the lip of this, uh, and then left click, and there you go, it's in the same place. exactly the same place. There's also one more one way you can do as well, um, which is if I line up with this corner here, and then you aim below the white writing and to the left slightly, like this. You're gonna get it. I actually got it first time, which is miraculous. Um, but yeah, uh, this is kind of, kind of takes a lot of practice to get right, um, and also it's not as good as either one way. Um, honestly, this well, this one way is like you can kind of use it if you want to use it. Generally, I would just wouldn't really use it that much. Um, but I will show it anyway. There's a couple of other walls you can do as well. For instance, if you have like double controller, sometimes you do the controller might play towards A, um, and you might feel like you don't really need here. to put your wall here. Some, some rounds that might be true as well so you might want to do this sort of wall to help you even more uh, on b if you want to um personally i don't think this wall is that necessary anymore and um, so i wouldn't really do it that much um in situations where you feel like that wall is necessary i feel like this wall is just better uh should be better um, as it kind of just lets you kind of have that aggression in b main and it, it means that you can kind of split the aggression up um in a way that's really really strong so you can take multiple 1v1s in b main with this wall um, especially versus like not as very good, not very good players. They're not, not going to know what to do versus that wall. Um, against better players, you might get like mini map spammed and that kind of stuff. So it might be quite more. It might be a bit more difficult to get actual one v ones in B main in that situation. Especially if everyone's pushing you, it's going to be really difficult. Um, but it does help you like kind of um, push your B main in a lot of situations and be a bit more slippery. Um, so what happens when we go A and it's post plant, or maybe it's getting towards post plant? So. If there's a sage on the enemy team and it's post plant, then sometimes I might do this. Um, if the bomb has not been planted, I will also do this molly. Um, just to delay the plant. Um, delaying plant on icebox is really, really strong in general. Um, because it's really, really difficult to win post plant generally on attack. Unless you can like um, have enough time. Because a lot of the time it's going to be down to like post plant. Um, post plant like util, like mollies and so forth and that kind of stuff. And also there's a lot of angles to clear on A. A um, lot of height advantage from the enemy team that they can set themselves up in. So you want to have as much time as possible. So delaying the plant and getting everyone here to make sure you can start your post plant retake faster is a really, really nice idea. Um, so we want to try and delay the plant when we can. Um, other mollies you can do as well. 
um, if you just find, your find yourself on A for whatever reason, um, is there's like three mollies you can do here. So this one goes to the orb, if I'm not mistaken. So the orb. Yep. And then the other one we can do as well. This one goes onto this line. It goes here. And a lot of players do like to play this position. So I think this molly is actually pretty good. It's also really good as well if you have a sober. You can ask him to ult from here down this line. He's probably likely to get a one shot on someone with this molly, which is really nice. The, the last one we can do as well is for 410, and this is usually for retake. We want to aim at this corner here. And what this ha what this does is it just goes on to 410. And it means at this point, I think about here, I think, or maybe a bit, a bit deeper, or maybe a bit shallower, about here somewhere, you've fully cleared 410. Otherwise, they're standing in your molly. So usually people just drop off, um, or they try and take a fight on you at, at that angle. As you can see here, like we, we, can, we will still be able to see them, see them right? So we will know everyone in 410 with that molly, um, unless they've dropped off. So we can basically clear 410. It's really good. Uh, really good to have. If by this point as well, like if we're on site, if I have smoke up, I might smoke the bomb as well. Probably will do. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be just using my mollies to like push people out of corners if I have not used all, all of my mollies by now. Um, so one, one corner we can clear is this one. It's quite nice to clear. A lot of people like to sit here after in post plant. Um, it's quite a popular angle in jail. Okay, so what happens if we get like fate on A and they're now going back to B? Or maybe we just started on A um, and they're going B. So what, what we're going to do, so we're going to go to the back corner um, of A over here. What we're going to do is we're going to line up using this like this this corner here. We're going to line up the um, the hood like this, uh, the the snake bite hood, like this on this corner. Fire. Um, it should go to default, hopefully. Yeah, it does, okay. Yeah, so it went to default. It's really good. Um, delays the plant, um, as we would like to do on Icebox. Um, some more, like, mollies we can do on the way to, like, rotation-type mollies and lineups is we have an orb as well from here. So I want to just line to line up with the tip of the screen like this. And then you go default. This just helps your mollies um, do more damage, basically. It may basically turns your mollies into lethal damage because uh, the, the decay helps to, to kill them. So what, what we can actually do is we can throw this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop into this corner. And we're going to look at this corner here and line up the hood like this. And then this will land default. So basically as the molly gets close to landing as well. So like here. We're going to put up our orb. So when it go when it goes up, the orb goes up, the molly lands. And there you go. This, this is how to delay post plant on the way to be as well. Uh, which is really, really strong. Uh, I think there's also a molly here as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's off this line somehow. Can't quite remember it. Uh, it might be this. The one I'm doing is I've got this line here. Hood. Pretty sure it's this, but I could be wrong. Pretty sure this goes yellow. I think I've got it wrong. I've got it wrong. I've got it right. Okay, sick. Um, got it right first try. That's the first time I've had to remember that one. Um, I barely use it. The reason why I barely use it is because actually there's a Sova lineup from the same place that goes to the same place. And generally my Sovas do it and before I get there. Um, because usually what's happening is I'm over here. I very, very rarely will actually be rotating nowadays because I usually like to play like this in this angle. So we usually I'm just delaying plant a lot. Um, if there is a viper wall as well, sorry, not a viper wall. If there is a, a, a sage wall here, um, or in some capacity, right? Um, or if you've been, been mollied, which I'll show later, you can do a molly like this too. You just go to this corner and there should be like like these like line. Actually, if I am it, it's actually worse. You, should, you can see like there's a vertical line here. It might change on graphic settings. For, mine's on low everything, so this is what I can see. And there's also a horizontal line here, and there's a vertical line here. We're going to line up like this, um, and we're just going to run jump throw. Um, and, for, and for me, I get it wrong, apparently. Maybe it's to the... Is it to the left of the line slightly? Where did I get it wrong? Okay, there we go. No, it works. Okay, interesting. Okay, I didn't actually know it had that variance to it. Um, I guess that it does, and that's pretty bad. But it does land a uh, default majority of the time for me. Um, I actually didn't. I don't think I've ever done that wrong. That's crazy. Maybe because I always maybe I, I always bias it to the left. Maybe that's the reason why. Or maybe I, oh, I've never seen that bounce either. <laughs> okay, so this 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 molly isn't as good as I thought it was. There's a bit more variance to it than I thought there was. But it is a nice alternative if you have been walled off or if you have been mollied, which I'll show on attack. And that's basically it. There are some alts you can do too. So the ult, I think I've, did I show the ult on B main? This is the ult on B main. Oh, I can't remember if I did. Uh, this is the ult on B main. Uh, you can't, no, I haven't showed it. Um, 
this is you go on here as well and it's really really annoying or you can just be anywhere in this orb basically um, it also covers the orb too so if they if they need the orb if they want the orb this orb is actually an easier orb to get than the one i in my opinion um so they might go go actually i'm not sure if it is actually uh, but they might go for this orb and you can have it in your alt so um if you know they're at the orb you can spam them that's actually cool you hear them taking it my ultimate is ready. The orb on A, sorry, the orb on A, the ult on A is on 410, which is um, basically what you want to do is just go on 410 at the start of the round and ult on the post. Um, and you can stay on 410 if you want to. You can also drop it into sandwich over here or, or pipes um, and just sort of play in the ult. Uh, it gives, as you can see, there's a lot of um, Viper ult this way. So they have to decay quite a bit to actually get to you unless they go on pipes. Um, in which case, they will have to drop down at some point, right? So, or at least jump to 410. Which makes sound. Um, so generally, um, and they're gonna have to maybe use the rope as well. So that also makes sound. So they're gonna make sound. So they won't be able to sneak past you really. Uh, which is quite nice. Ult. So we're gonna go on to defense. On uh, defense, we're gonna go on to attack. Okay, so on attack, we're gonna start on a site um, or on just attacking a in general. And I'll start with the wall actually. So the wall is pretty general, pretty easy. You're gonna see this wall a lot. Attack viper. Um, it is simply the the wall that people do on a. Uh, there are different. There's a different wall you can do as well. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the wall you're going to do, um, basically. Uh, it's pretty easy to free throw it. There you go. Um, then we have the orb, so I learned this one from Nats as well. If you go onto this, like, X here, like this, this, like, corner or cross, whatever. And then you want to go onto this corner, you want to aim at this corner. Then you want to go up, and you want to go a bit to the right, like, something like this. It takes a bit of practice to get, like, the actual, like, orb you really want. I might not have even got it right here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to let, we're going to throw, when, let's say let go, we're going to throw... When we reach this line, basically, I'm gonna go a bit here. I'm gonna throw when we reach the line, and what happens is it should land about here. And generally, if you've thrown it right, which I think I've thrown it wrong, I've thrown it a bit wrong. Generally, they shouldn't be able to see anything here. Um, so I clearly have done it a bit wrong here. Take some practice to get right, as I've said. Um, and that's kind of how that orb is thrown. Um, so I really should get better at that one. Um, when it comes to actually going into A as well. You're not going to do a huge, huge amount. You might do some mollies. Um, and then at this point, um, you're going to go try and get a plant. And then there's post-plant mollies, which I'll show in a minute. But I'm going to go over B first as well. And mid. Um, also, I want to take the, the time on A here. On B, this is not really that applicable. But on A, don't be afraid to do ult and ult. Don't, do afraid, don't be afraid to do walls. So, something like this, right? And the reason why you shouldn't be afraid to do walls like this is because on eco rounds... Specifically, eco rounds are rounds where you're not going to have as much util available to you. So you're not going to be able to take that much space because you just don't want to use that much. You just either can't use it because you can't afford it or you simply don't want to use it because you want to save it for the next more important rounds and to have util on. So you might want to do this. And what it does, is it just cuts off at an angle, like cuts off at a lane that you just usually can't, like you might not be able to take basically. Um, and it just means that you might be able to get a plant a tiny bit easier um so don't be afraid to do walls like this um a lot of people just do this wall and then they have to fight every single angle on a site so don't be afraid of like making like even tighter walls even like this maybe not wall no clipping though uh, like this just so maybe you can set your sage can walk, run up and just get the wall down and then plant like maybe that is like a, a way to play an eco so don't be afraid to do those walls if you see the angle for it next we go into mid you might have seen this mid wall as well before Basically, just this wall. It, it just allows you to go into. Oh, not with it. Not with the gap, though. Not with the gap. I think I've done it a bit wrong there because I wanted to. Do this. Wait. Okay, I've still done it wrong, right? Oh, no, I have. I've done it right. Okay. Basically, you should be able to get through like this. Uh, it's pretty nice um, on eco rounds as well. Uh, or on bonuses or something. Um, you can do balls like that. Um, for the actual mid, uh, like orb, I'm usually I do against the barrier, so you have to forgive me if I get it a bit wrong here. Basically, I'm just lining up these two. Um, these two containers and I usually do it against the barrier and then I aim at this line here and then it should go Poison deep enough it's going to, this, I found it a tiny bit here because there should be a gap on this side I don't want a gap on that side I want it to land in the center like this and kind of be able to fully you want it to like fully cover everything so basically what, what you can do is you can walk this way if they're orange or you can walk this way to orange if they're mid um, and obviously you can always go tube no matter which way that goes but you really don't want the gap here because people orange can see me you don't, you don't really want that um that's it for mid there's not really much to say about mid don't really do too much in mid those are the two things you mainly do otherwise it's just sort of like things you kind of pick up 
Um, or like you not pick up, sorry. It's things you like adapt to or like uh, you like situational. Um, next we've got kind of like some stuff on B. So I go up to this line um, and if you want to have the mid orb, um, I use the kingdom logo over here and line up the hood on the bottom left of it like this. And this throws and this should land in the correct spot for the mid uh, orb. Poison orb remitting. Bro. Poison's off. I'm having a mare today. Hey, I've got this wrong. Oh, wait, it's because I've, I've loaded up the wrong part of the hood. That's the reason why. I've just realized. Wrong part of the hood. There you go. This is the right, this is the right part of the hood. My bad. My bad. This is the right part. Perfect. 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 Failed my own lineup. Great. Um, okay. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's the, the perfect way to do the orb. Um, and there's also the, the wall from the same location as well. Um, you just want to make sure it kind of goes at this yeah. corner. Um, basically, around there somewhere. Making sure that it doesn't really give them like any pockets of space to play in. If you do it too far this way, they might be able to play around the wall um, with the wall behind them like this. So you want to be careful of doing that. Otherwise, um, everything's fine. Um, and then when we go like towards B for like planting and things, you can do mollies that will kind of help you to make fun. So you can do mollies like this. That might help. The molly that I was talking about before here. with this molly here, stopping me to uh, apply that position on post. This is the molly we're going to use. Uh, going to be this so what we're going to do is we're going to aim at this corner here with the hood this um we're basically standing in this corner um and it lands here so it just stops me on the opposite team if i was to play exactly like i was playing before like it's a way to counter if i want like my play um where, where i would delay this right the play that i would be making if i was the enemy viper i'm countering that play with with the way with that molly right that's the reason why I have this wallet. It's because it came to just like what I would actually know. Um, and then we have, um, and that's basically actually for like attacking B. Um, there's obviously alts you can do on either side. Um, generally, there's not like any like specific ones you want to do, and um, they're kind of like more uh, adaptable. Um, but actually, we, there are some specific ones you can do though. If you are top site, I do have some top site ones. Um, so if you are planted top site, there are two alts we can do. There's one in this corner. And you basically just aim at like this this line here. Um, you don't aim too far. You want to aim like about here. And as you can see on the map, the ult is kind of crazy. It goes all the way down kitchen. But honestly, to be honest, no reason. I don't know how this has managed to get here in terms of range. Yeah. Like, how has that happened? But, you know, it does happen. So, um, this is what it looks like. It's pretty strong because it means that anyone coming from kitchen will be heavily decayed by the time they try and fight you. Um, it also means you have the opportunity to go walking down kitchen and do like some crazy things if you need to or want to. There's also a very marginally different alt as well. Sorry, there is a very different alt uh, from a tiny bit of a different position. So you literally go to this, this doorway. You have as far as possible this way um, into kitchen. And then you can see like you get basically no, you get, like, no presence on the ground. First of all, like you get like this basically. On the other one, I did forgot to show it, but you do have some yeah. stuff on the ground that you can kind of walk in. On this one, you don't really have that. He said you have a lot more of kitchen, like um, you have a tiny bit more of kitchen, so you go up this way. And you can actually walk like all the way around and drop down into here. And you can also fight this. You can go back into the alt on the other side. Um, and then you can also contest on this side too. But it, also something I forgot to mention about the other alt, sorry, so I'm just gonna quickly do that one again. <laughs> Is that a teammate can go under underneath like this as well? As you can see, like the, this is a pocket, right? So, you, not only, to be fair though, enemies can use this too to like get rid of their decay and refresh it. So it isn't great, but teammates can sit in here as well if they want to, and it's pretty like unpredictable potentially that that you're sitting in there, or like even you can as well. Just be careful with keeping your ult up. You don't want to be like running back into the smoke in this angle because it's all around you. They can be anywhere in your ult potentially, so be careful doing that. Um, and then we're going to talk about post plant. Um, so post plant mollies. Uh, I've already talked about post plant molly. Uh, post plant molly in a short. And he was going to go up to the pillar like this, like the corner of the pillar. Um, and we're going to use this like black box. Um, we're going to use it on the middle hood line like this, just like um, like I don't know how to explain, like fully like like corner to corner the hood line. Um, and it should land default. There you go. Um, pretty easy. Um, and there's also obviously the ones you can do off uh, yellow as well. You can just jump. Through. Okay, you can't just jump through them if you're me, apparently. You can completely miss. Um, but you can just you can do them off yellow if you actually don't miss, like me. 
So you do them off the box as well, which is probably safer because it can't land on the box. Um, but yeah, there you go. These are like the two mollies, the, the mollies I use um, when post plant uh, on B. Then we go over to A. Um, and on A, um, generally. Oh, sorry, I also forgot. I also place my orb. When I'm going B, I either place my orb here or I place my orb on the bomb. Uh, one of the two. Um, I forgot to mention. Um, also, post plant A now. So, post plant A. Um, there are a couple things, well, ang angles we can we can do things from. Um, for instance, this, the free throw molly, as default, pretty easy. You just go basically near this corner, and at this, pretty easy. Um, really easy to get it right majority of the time. Um, there is also ones over here. So if you do have it planted on heaven, like this angle, you want to there's a, this this uh, this arrow. You want to go to the left corner of the arrow. And just fire, making sure we're on this in this corner on the barrels. Lands on there. Um, and one more, one more, one last one is uh, we go against this corner, and we aim. I'm pretty sure at this corner, and we just throw. It. Um, and I'm pretty sure that should land default. It does. Uh, great. That's it. Uh, that's it for the guide. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.